Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to avoid maternity clothes and wear what you already have. I do have some maternity clothes that I do enjoy wearing, but today I'll be showing you my favorite non-maternity clothes that get me either very, very far in pregnancy or all the way through it. This is my second pregnancy, so I know what to expect from last time. And from a practical standpoint, as well as a financial standpoint, I love finding clothes that work before, during, and after pregnancy, because then you're not buying a bunch of clothes that you can only wear for a few months. I'm gonna be showing you my favorite non-maternity items for tops, bottoms, workout apparel, and dresses, and skirts. If you're new to my channel, hi, I would love it if you subscribed. It's that red button below and there's a little bell notification you can hit so you don't miss out when new videos are posted. I post every week about motherhood, organization, cleaning, cooking, and travel. And I'd love to have you as a part of this little YouTube family. Let me know if you have any of these same items, what items you really love wearing during your pregnancy, and we'll go ahead and get started. So starting with this top, this is a Lululemon top. I know Lululemon is expensive. I usually get my tops and other Lulu items on Poshmark, new with tags or Mercari, websites like that. You can find things new with tags that other people are selling and it's way cheaper. This is called the Power Y Tank. And I also featured this and a few other items I'll be showing you in my wardrobes must have videos, which I'm going to link up in the card right here and I'll link it down below as well. So it looks a little different than the last time I showed this top because I am over 20 weeks pregnant right now. So I like that it is long enough that you can still wear it with a bump and it's stretchy enough that it stretches with you as you grow, but it doesn't stretch out. This is what the top looks like in the back as well. This sweatshirt is by Zella, little sweatshirt. It's getting a little short now, but I can just throw it over any other top that I'm wearing and it works out really well. It's flowy enough that I can wear it really far into pregnancy. I have one more Lululemon top to show you just because again, these last forever. I have a pair of capris that I just had to retire after nearly 10 years. So they do last a really long time and the fact that they can stretch with you and then stretch right back and not stretch out is a big deal. But anyway, this is the cool racer back tank. Um, I actually just got this. I haven't even taken the tag off. It is from Poshmark and look, it's so long. This is another thing that people say that they wear completely through pregnancy all the way through. So I'm very happy with this. This is the last workout tank that I'll show you. This is from Target. It's pre-pregnancy size. I bought it when I wasn't pregnant. I was actually still losing weight from my son when I bought this one. And then I found it so flattering because it was flowy, but it's still fitting the bump. So I think we can still get a lot of wear out of this one. Next, this is just a V-neck t-shirt from Victoria's Secret. I got this one on Poshmark as well. And anyway, I had read about these first saying get two sizes up and even after you lose the weight from your baby, you still are gonna like wearing this cause it's just like the perfect amount of slouch. And I would agree. First off, it's fitting during pregnancy. I got two sizes up, so it's long enough. It's comfortable. When I'm nursing, it's a V-neck, so it's very easy to nurse in. My favorite style of t-shirts to wear while nursing is definitely a V-neck. And they say that it doesn't stretch too bad. So if you're nursing and then it goes back, it's not like the V stretches out too bad. I read a lot of reviews saying that uh, once you've had the baby and everything, you can even just put a little tie here or something. So I think it's a pretty versatile piece. My other favorite V-neck t-shirts are from J. Crew Factory. I'll link those below as well. But I'm getting to a point now at halfway through pregnancy that they are getting a little bit short. So I do like that these are long enough. Here is one of my all time favorite t-shirts. It actually is maternity. So I might be cheating a little by telling you this in a non-maternity clothes video, but hear me out. There is no ruching on this shirt. It is just a plain black t-shirt. It's a V-neck. It'll be easy when I'm nursing. And because there's no ruching, I feel like ruching is kind of a dead giveaway that something like could be maternity. I know a lot of non-maternity clothes do have ruching. However, I associate that, I guess, with maternity clothing. So I love that it doesn't have any. This is by, 
It's the Ingrid and Isabel line for Target, and it's my pre-pregnancy size, and I love, love, love this shirt. It's long enough, it's stretchy enough, and whenever I wear it, people don't know I'm pregnant until I turn sideways, so I think it's really flattering. It's not that obvious, right? Right? Next are tank tops. They're so easy. You can get a size up, and then they'll be long enough, maybe even two sizes up, I find that the material is often so stretchy that even if you do size up, it's not a big deal once you've had the baby. It just, it doesn't look too loose. Everything just kind of goes back to its place with the shirt. And other tops I would recommend are anything flowy or big. So this is just like a dolman top. I wear this all the time. I've been wearing this exact shirt in several colors for years. You can kind of wear it off the shoulder like this. You can do one shoulder, you can kind of just make it high and a little lower-ish in the back. But I love these, they get me all the way through pregnancy. These and other flowy shirts like them are also great at the beginning when you're trying not to show that you're pregnant. Flowy tops are great for that. Now I'm sure I can find this top online still and link it for you. Uh, because I do think that it was pretty popular within the last couple years and still is. Anyway, it's flowy enough and long enough that it totally fits the bump. Plus it's great to have options that you can dress up or dress down. The last shirt style that I'll show you are off the shoulder tops. These are great not only because they're long and they fit everything, but they are very easy to nurse in. Another shirt option, a little more fitted, but it's just a casual V-neck long sleeve t-shirt, although I do have the short sleeve version of this as well in black and white, and I wear these all the time, they're from Old Navy, it's the luxe kind. And the V-neck is deep enough that it's super easy for nursing and they just fit all the way through. Now in this particular shirt, I did get a size up uh, because that's what I found when I went in the store and the extra room isn't so bad, but I still do wear my pre-pregnancy size as well in the short sleeve t-shirts and they're fine. Next are leggings. I have a few different brands I'm gonna tell you about. These are by Zella. These are not the live-in leggings, which are actually my favorite Zello leggings. These are, they're still kind of high-waisted. They're going to about here, wherever my waist is these days. And these are cropped as well. They're just kind of a stretchier material. These, although you're not really going to see any difference on camera, have a bit more compression. These are the Zella live-in leggings, the high-waisted ones. They also have shorter waist ones, but we all want high-waisted, right? These are full length as opposed to crop, and I really do wear them with everything. The name Live In Legging is so applicable because I really do live in them. I still wear my pre-pregnancy size at over 20 weeks pregnant, so that's saying something. They're kind of getting to a point where you can sort of see where the band is hitting, and then I'm kind of spilling over a little bit now because the bump is getting so big, but, if they can get you halfway through a pregnancy wearing your pre-pregnancy size, I call that a win. So I have Zella leggings in high-waisted, regular-waisted. I have them in cropped. I have them in kind of like a moto type style, black and olive green. I have crops in gray and pink as well, but black is definitely my go-to. But anyway, I love them and I can wear them for so long. And they're wonderful postpartum too. So you can do before, during, and after pregnancy. The next legging I wanna show you is the Align Legging by Lululemon. So again, you can find Lulu stuff on Poshmark or Mercari sometimes. I have two pairs. The thing I love about these, besides the fact that they can be worn before, during, and after pregnancy, is that you can wear your normal size all the way through pregnancy, and they really do fit you up into the end. My friend had a baby last week. She was wearing these up until she delivered. They are not compression leggings though. They are just very, very stretchy. They are so lightweight. Everything online said that they felt like butter. They really do. And uh, I read that they had like this cult maternity following just because you can wear them all the way through and after. And that to me, whether you know, you bought it secondhand or not, is worth it to me because you could buy a whole bunch of maternity leggings with a big belly that go up to here, and then what are you gonna do? I mean, you could wear them after you have a baby, but I know personally, I don't really like wearing things that have a big belly panel after I've already had the baby, and I don't want the thing that goes below your belly either 
because afterwards I want some high waist after I've had that baby. <laughs> so those are pre-pregnancy size, but I also wear a pair, I have two of them, from Target that are kind of like yoga pants, but they're skinny, they don't flare out at the bottom and they have the little fold over like most yoga pants do. And when I get further along, I don't even fold them over. I just keep that fold right up here. They were probably $10 each. I have two pairs. They're uh, that Massimo brand and I just got them in one size up than what I normally wear. So I would wear those through pregnancy as well as the first few months postpartum. Now, I don't know what time of year you're watching this video or what your climate is like, but when you're showing a lot, it may be very hot and I've been showing leggings. So I do wanna show you my favorite shorts. These are Lululemon. <laughs> are we surprised at this point? Um, every now and then you'll also find sales. So between Poshmark and stuff, I'm just, yeah. I just don't want you to be afraid of buying this expensive brand because there are ways around it. Anyway, I get a size up then from what my normal size is and they fit me all the way through pregnancy. I actually bought them when I was postpartum with my son and that's why I got a size up because I wasn't quite back to my normal size. And then I didn't want to go back to my normal size. It's just like this top. I wanted to stay a size up. They were longer, they gave a little more coverage. I liked them a lot better. As far as bottoms that are not leggings, you can wear maxi skirts with any kind of tank or t-shirt. You can also wear jeans. You could do maternity jeans. I know some people like the kind that go over your belly, which I like during pregnancy, but not after, so I can't include them here. And then as far as the lower ones that sit beneath your bump, I don't wanna wear those after I have a baby either. I want something a little more high-waisted. So if you can get in to your regular jeans or if you size up a little, you can just do the rubber band trick or wear a belly band. I'm gonna insert a picture of the rubber band trick and also I'm going to link the belly band down below. I don't have one, but my friends love them. Also, if you're just gonna wear them open and you have nothing to close your jeans, if your top is long enough, you should be okay. Old Navy has a pair of jeans called the Rockstar jeans and you can see that there is no zipper and they just have an elastic band and these are really good too. Okay, moving on to dresses, I am very excited because in my first pregnancy, I didn't think that there would be a lot of non-maternity options in this department. And I was very excited when I found out there were. So this is actually a new addition to my closet. It is from Pink Blush. And I used to be hesitant to shop there because I thought it was only maternity clothes. So I thought, I'm not gonna get anything because you can only wear it for a few months and then you're done. I was very wrong. Almost every item on there in the description says, can be worn before, during, and after pregnancy. So I'm like, okay, bingo, have to get something. So I got this dress. I chose it because of its high waist, so it fits the bump. It's also a V-neck, so it's gonna be very easy to nurse in. And when I deliver this baby, it's gonna be the spring, so it'll be warm. So I wanted to get something with short sleeves. I'll angle this down so you can see. It's a high-low dress, and I really, really like it. And it's kind of got the feeling of a wrap dress without actually being one but I'm absolutely loving it. The fabric is super soft and I am so excited that I can get so much wear out of it. Wrap dresses are a super easy choice. They fit all the way through. This is my normal pregnancy size, pre-pregnancy size. Bodycon dresses are not everyone's cup of tea, but I think a tight fitting dress looks wonderful during pregnancy. So this is one I got off Amazon and you can pair it with anything really, but all of those outerwear options that I'm gonna show you, jackets, kimonos, things like that, those all are fabulous to pair with these, or you could just wear it without. They look great, you can show off the bump, it's really cute. Anything with a high waist is going to do you well during your pregnancy, so this is just a dress that I got from Target a couple years ago, and I absolutely love it. Also, you never have to worry if it's a maxi dress about it getting too short when your bump grows. I bought this dress before this pregnancy, and I never thought that you could wear it with one, or at least it had never really crossed my mind, until I was in Bye Bye Baby one day and I saw a very pregnant lady wearing the same dress. So now I know that I can wear it and I'm very happy because it will be very warm when I deliver. And she was very pregnant, so, <laughs> so I'm excited that I can still wear this one. And it's also very nursing friendly because of the buttons and that goes with dresses or anything like that. If it has buttons, it is nursing friendly. And everyone mentions when something has pockets, right? So it has pockets. The next couple dresses are from Tommy Bahama. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I never had anything from there before. My mom got me some dresses and I am obsessed. And there was a seven month pregnant lady working in the store who was wearing her pre-pregnancy size. It can stretch so far and it is stretchy enough up top that I could pull it down to nurse in. Next is this denim off the shoulder dress, also from Tommy Bahama. It has pockets in it. It is very, very soft and it will be very easy to nurse in. This dress also from Tommy Bahama, it has a V-neck. It is so stretchy. It's kind of like a pajama feeling material and it's very long. So I can wear this all the way through for sure. And these last few are not quite nursing friendly, but they are going to fit you at every stage. So I'm definitely including them in today's video. This last style is from Old Navy and they must have had this style for at least going on five or six years because that's how long I've been wearing this dress in multiple different colors and patterns throughout time. So I'm happy to share that they still have them in stock and they are bump friendly. Moving on to outerwear, one of the easiest things you can do is throw on a kimono or something like that. So this is a kimono I got off Amazon. It is so easy that you can just throw over. This is also gonna be great while nursing, I think. I wear a lot of nursing tanks when I am nursing and just to throw this on over will be really easy. It also could even kind of work as a cover. Whether you wear it just like this or belted, this is a great option to have. I also use this as a swimsuit cover up when I was about eight weeks pregnant. Jackets pretty much always fit throughout your pregnancy. You might not be able to close them, but you'll be warm if you need, so. If you wanna dress things up, you can put on a blazer like this. Very easy to throw on a cardigan. This is basically an outfit that I live in before, during, and after pregnancy. I'm serious, any jacket will do. Here's a leather one that I definitely can't close, but I don't need to. And you can wear this over anything besides a tank top. You can do any kind of shirt or a dress as well. This isn't exactly outerwear, but flannel shirts work as a shirt or outerwear. You can do this or you can tie it around your waist if you're wearing this or a dress and you can kind of just wear it sort of like an open cardigan. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it gave you some ideas on how to dress your bump in a way that can save you money because you aren't shelling out a bunch for maternity clothes and you can still wear them for the rest of your life afterwards. If you did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If your pregnant friends need some help figuring out what to wear and go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, let me know in the comments, would you like a video that's specific to maternity clothes? I prefer to wear things that are not maternity so that I can have more use out of them, but I do have a few maternity little items that I do enjoy. And while I can't film it just yet, would you like a nursing uniform video <laughs> when the time comes? Let me know down below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll stick around by hitting that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.